Muses. How are y'all doing tonight? Hope everyone's having a wonderful evening. Um, we're going to do one of these little fans tonight. It's a very thin mold, but what I want to try to do, I want to try to make it look like a monarch. To me, it kind of looks like a butterfly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour these cavities that are sunk in right here. I'm going to pour just them with some resin tinted with yellow and orange mica powder and then i'm gonna let that cure and then i'm gonna come back in and pour black over the top of it and then when we flip it over hopefully it'll look like a monarch butterfly right so i already have my resin mixed up this is my thin pour resin and it only has a 20 minute work time so rather than to have it cure quickly while i'm trying to do this i figure i'm just gonna mix it up now i'm putting in yellow mica powder it's open already. Yeah. I want this to be pretty bright. I want it to be pretty bright here. Pretty yellow. Okay. I might put just a little bit more in. I want it to be pretty dark. Of course you're not gonna see through it anyway because of the black in the back. You gotta be sure you get your mica powder stirred up really, really good. So I saw a trick. And I don't know if it's going to work or not. I want to try it. The next really hard mold that I have to demold. I saw one of these resin videos. And it was one where they do like bigger, larger items. And he took an air hose. And he squirted air down in between the mold and the item. And he did that just kind of lightly all the way around. And it popped right out. Came right out no problem kind of like when you put kind of like when you put the alcohol in and you just mix it around and you see it coming off of it right well i have this it's a little mini leaf blower that i had for my acrylic pouring and uh so i've had that this whole time i was like well how wonderful is that so that is my thing here and uh my miniature leaf blower so all right guys we're gonna try that next one we have did anybody notice the giant palmetto bug i hate those things move to florida and they have palmetto bugs and they come in because i have my i'm right to my porch out here so they come in the room when i have the door open here and they're so hard to get out because they fly. And if you get near them, they will fly away or fly at you, which is not a good scenario either way. They really creep me out. And not a whole lot of things creep me out. You already know now after last night's conversation. Snakes don't creep me out. But tall little bugs creep me out. What do you think? That's a pretty orange, huh? Bugs. Here we are doing butterflies and bugs. <laughs> Snakes. Reptiles, right? Is it a reptile week? Maybe it's reptile week. I really want to make another... In fact, I've got the mold out. I want to make another frog. So, maybe this is going to be reptile week, guys. <laughs> Turtles and frogs and stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to pour some of this in. Okay. 
so cool. And then the other one's like an ocean wave looking one. Ah. Don't get carried away. Alright, I think I'm going to do the big ones out here. Eek. Too much. It's hard to pour just a teeny tiny bit. Because once it starts coming, then it just keeps coming. Yikes. There we go. Probably should have used my bed on this, but that's alright. Okay, almost there. Let's get orange. Goodness. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna put this over here for a minute. Let me get my little silicone thing here. This one down here. Make sure all these little cubbies here are full and moved where they need to be. Alright. I think this one's full enough. that one some more. Give it some more. We're going to give it a little bit more. This one's got plenty, I think. He's going to need some more here. Oh, I just knocked everything all over the place. Trying to get that palmetto bug away. <laughs> okay, guys. Was that too funny or what? Now i got to clean a mess up. I'm telling you, these things creep me out. That was funny, wasn't it? That wasn't, but it was. Holy smokes. Okay, guys. Are you rolling yet? Are you laughing? I don't know if you saw that, if it was on camera or not, but he was crawling up the basket there, coming towards me. We weren't having it. Not having it. Now I don't know where he's at. Makes me even more nervous. <laughs> like I said, they'll fly right at you too, boy. They don't even care. Like I said, my screened-in porch out here is literally two feet away. And my door is open because it's hot in here and it's nighttime. So I just have the door open and the air on and they come in from outside. Dang boy. Funny story. Oh, I felt him. Where's he at? <laughs> okay, yep, I just seen him. Okay, mister, we're going to have an issue here. Go away. I don't know where you're at, but go away. <laughs> so anyway, my husband and I, when we first moved here, he was in a wheelchair, and I live in a mobile home. Well, he couldn't get up into the house part of the mobile home. So this room is 
ground level. So you can come in, do the outside patio, and right into this room. And I hear you. And uh, you can come right, in, come right in here. Well, so we had our bed out here. And I'm sitting on the bed one night. My husband's in his wheelchair. He's sitting beside the bed and we're talking. And it's dark. We've got TV on, I think. And he says, oh my God, I just saw the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life. So at this point, I'm freaking out. I'm like, okay, what are you talking about? So I'm up on the bed. I'm like, I'm not putting my feet on the floor. I'm not doing nothing, you know. <laughs> There's a spider big enough to make him freak out. He didn't freak out easily. And I'm like, if there's a spider big enough to make him freak out, it's a pretty good sized spider. So I want no part of it. And uh, so I'm up on the bed, and the whole time I'm on the bed, I'm just freaking out. I'm thinking, oh my God, the spider's going to come up any time. Finally, I'm like, I'm getting off the bed. We're going outside until we figure out where this thing's at. So we go out, and we're sitting outside, out front on a patio. And all of a sudden, coming out from underneath the trailer right by where this room is I see a crab <laughs> so this thing that my husband thought was a spider was actually a crab and that was my first experience with Florida wildlife <laughs> was this crab in our bedroom freaking me out and this palmetto bug is freaking me out really bad where is he at hear him so much oh i see him too buddy you need to go outside i don't know where you think you're going but it's not going to be here we're going to have an issue <laughs> i'm trying to spray him with water i don't think that's going to hurt him i'm going to do nothing but just make him mad oh okay i see him he's way over there now come on Heading toward the door, maybe. Maybe. Hopefully. Please go toward the door. Just keep following it. You'll go right out the door. Back out to freedom. Back out to freedom. Please. <laughs> oh, I hate those things so bad. I know it's not good to hate something, but I hate them. Okay, so we're going to use this to fill this up. Because I'm not trying to pour it. Not in these little bitty dots. Okay, I see him again. You see him, guys? He's on the deal. I don't like him. Where's he at? Go away. Go away. Go. Oh my gosh, guys. I sound like a big baby, don't I? I'm freaking out and I can't help it. I don't freak out normally on things like this. God, it, they freak me out. I'm sorry. You found the one thing that freaks me out. I hear him again. They're trying to get away from me. It's like they try to come We should be good now. We're back. Oh. Yeah, a voiceover because I, I was saying a bad word right about here, guys. <laughs> bleep. I'm going to bleep that out, guys. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I will have to censor that part out. Okay, where's he at? I hear him again. I hear him again. I don't see him, though. Get back up on the table, he better not be. I don't know where he is, and that makes me nervous. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. 
I don't know where he went. He's behind me now. Which I think is worse. I love these pipettes, <laughs> especially for something like this. Also have those little, a little bitty needle tip bottles, but I'm saving those for the, because I'm going to retry those Dollar Tree wooden die cuts with one of those and the UV resin. So. I got some different ones, not the same, not the owl. Uh, I think I got birds, and I think I got keys or something. I don't know. There was a bunch, bunch of different ones I had, so I got some new ones. If you haven't seen that video, actually I made two. Go check them out. I took the Dollar Tree die cuts, and we tried to put use this and put UV resin in them, and. It kind of worked, but it didn't work like I wanted it to. So I bought little bottles with the little fine tip needles so we could actually use them to put the resin in. Alright. So this color, should it be yellow or orange? Hmm. Maybe it needs to be a different color. Because the whole thing is going to be black over the top of it. What color should we do this? Should we do it a different? Because I've got some more resin here. What color do we want to do it? Maybe gold? Ooh, that would be pretty. Yeah, let's do some gold. Let's put gold in it. Let's do a little bit of gold here. Actually, we can mix some gold here in with the yellow. What we get here? Ooh, pretty. A yellow gold. Nice. That's a pretty color, too. Alright. are so neat. There's like two or three other designs of them too. There's several different designs on him of, of these. And I got the two I like the best. I got this one. I think there was one that had like flowers in it. And then the one that I got has the waves. A little bit more down here. Okay, perfect.
There we go. That's just a little thing here, still wearable in it. Yep, looks like everything's good to me. All right. So, I'm going to put you guys on pause. We'll be back tomorrow. Or, well, yeah, in the morning, probably. And we'll pour it, then layer of black over the top, and then we'll demold it after that. Bye, guys. Hello, I'm Marvelous Muses. We are back. We are back. So, I came out and poured the black resin today. One feeling too great. My stomach. Anybody else, the older you get, the more you can't eat anything that you've ever ate before in your life. Things that never messed with me, now I can't eat. I don't understand it. So, uh, I just make some black resin and I put a little bit of uh, glitter in it. Uh, you're not going to see a lot of the glitter. You might I don't know, you might see more than I think. I had a little bit of leftover resin last night and I just poured these two. So, we're just going to take these two little guys out here. Sorry, y'all still laughing about the... About the palmetto bug. Because I'm still kind of freaked out. I don't know where he's at. I'm hoping he left today. It's been a whole day, so. Oh, that's pretty. My little thing right here. I'm excited for this. I'm excited to see how this turns out. Very easy mold to do mold. Comes right out. I'll be right back, guys. Hang on just a minute. Sorry about that, guys. Neighbor showed up. I had to go talk to her for a minute. Got a little overreach here. Not bad, though. Alright, are we ready to see if it looks anything like a monarch butterfly? Oh, wow! Holy smokes, guys. Okay, this could have been a little more. Oh my goodness. That's gorgeous. Look at that, guys. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. How pretty is that? Oh my lord. That's beautiful. Alright, sorry about that, guys. What happens when you record during the day? I'm a popular person. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, my gosh. You have to let me know what you think. I can't wait now to try the water one. Isn't that pretty? Wow. So, if you guys got this mold, it turned out very, very pretty. I used two ounces of resin, the black. I had a little bit left over. You saw I poured it on the back of the of this, so just a little less than two ounces to cover the whole back of it. And I did have a little bit of overage fill. I got my fingerprints all over it. Um, but yeah, uh, this part here, I think I maybe used three ounces of resin between the three. Uh, like I said, I missed three spots here that I didn't get very good and a couple of the spots the resin must have pulled back when it cured and I didn't notice it today when I poured it I said I wasn't feeling too great but oh my gosh guys this turned out so pretty look at the glitter too wow all right guys well if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you guys haven't subscribed perfect time to do so we freak out when we see palmetto bugs. I was telling my friends about that. I said, oh my gosh. The video last night, I was telling them all about the palmetto bugs. So, uh, yeah. I think I might use these. I don't know. I think it may be keychains. I don't know. Then again, I might use them as a magnet. They're awfully pretty. Might be kind of fun to have magnets like that. I already got a couple, so. Alright, guys. Hope everyone's resin cures beautifully. Hope everyone is happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.